Some argue that wealthy play by their own rules, yet celebrities often set standards that the rest of us follow, as evidenced by the high-profile breakup of Bill and Melinda Gates and Jeff and Mackenzie Bezos. A slew of high-profile divorces involving the rich and famous has raised new problems for the divorce industry and demonstrated how wealthy divorce ladies can become as a result of settlements. Stay tuned to find out some divorced wives of the rich and famous who got insanely rich after their marriage ended. Bill and Melinda Gates One of the biggest and most expensive divorces in the history of divorce is none other than Bill Gates and his now ex-wife Melinda Gates. It's known how the famous couple would divide their $130 billion in assets because they didn't have a prenuptial agreement. Instead, the pair, who have been married for 27 years, signed a separation agreement to divide their property and belongings, though the specifics have not been revealed. Their $60 million family house in Medina, Washington, called Xando 2.0, is one of their most valuable assets. It originally had a 20,000 square feet feet of living area and cost $60 million to build. Bill Gates also owns over 100 million Microsoft shares, or around 1.3% of the software corporation he co-founded in 1975. It's insane, right? Mackenzie Bezos Mackenzie Bezos is the fourth richest woman in the world after her divorce from Amazon founder Jeff Bezos was finalized in 2019. Mackenzie Bezos would keep 25% of the couple's Amazon stock, or about 4% stake, in the entire company, according to a statement she made on social media shortly after. According to Amazon's current share price, that ownership is worth around $36 billion. According to Bloomberg Billionaires Index, Bezos, a writer, is the fourth richest woman in the world, after Francois Benincourt Myers, the L'Oreal Harris, with a net worth of $54 billion, and Alice Walton of the Walmart family, with a net worth of $44 billion. Elon Musk and Justine Mass. After a courtship that began in college, the millionaire Tesla CEO married his first wife, Justine Musk, for eight years. Nevada, the couple's oldest son, died of sudden infant death syndrome when he was six months old. Elon explained how they have joint custody of their children and that he pays their nanny salary in a blog post for Business Insider. He also said he sends Justine $20,000 each month after taxes for clothing, shoes, and other luxuries. Elon stated that the breakup had left him with $170,000 in average monthly legal bills in addition to gifting her their Bel Air mansion. Now, Musk hasn't been married once, but three times. Elon Musk and Tallulah Riley The world's second richest man has has also been divorced twice from actress Tallulah Riley. Riley is said to have walked away with $4.2 million after their first marriage dissolved in 2012. A year later, they reunited and married again, only for Elon to petition for divorce in 2015. According to TMZ, Musk agreed to pay her $16 million in the split at the time. According to Forbes, he's currently worth $166 billion. Alec Willenstein and Jocelyn Willenstein Before the Bezos divorce, the Willenstein divorce, which occurred in 1999, was the largest millionaire divorce in history. Alec Willenstein, a French-American businessman and art dealer, divorced Austin Willenstein, his wife of 21 years. The wife was offered a one-time compensation of RS 12,000 crores, that's $2.8 billion in value in this divorce settlement. She'll also be paid RS 430 crores, that's $100 million per year for the next 13 years, according to the agreements. The total value of the settlements was RS 16,000 crores, that's $3.8 billion in value. Kim Kardashian and Kanye West Although this isn't really a case of the ex getting rich post-divorce, as we all know that Kim probably has more money than Kanye West. However, we still have to mention this one since it was a mega divorce in the media. Kim Ye made their way to Splitsville after almost seven years, multiple social media meltdowns, and one awful presidential campaign. North, age seven, Saint, age five, Chicago, three years of age, and baby Psalm are their four children, which they agreed to share custody of equally. Both are newly minted billionaires, so all eyes will be on how they divide their enormous fortune. Kim, 40 years of age, has enlisted the help of the so queen divorce lawyer, Laura Wasser, to handle the division of the couple's Calabasas Mansion, Miami Condo, and the Wyoming Ranch. The pair is reportedly said to have $5 million in art, $4 million in vehicles, $3.2 million in jewelry, and $300,000 in animals. Neither one filed for spousal support. Bernie and Savika Ecclestone Savika, Formula One tycoon Bernie's second wife, filed for divorce from him in 2009, citing his unreasonable behavior. The split's contents were mostly kept under wraps, with the settlement estimated to be around $1.2 billion. But wait, there's more! Bernie received $100 million per year from Savika, according to his German bribery conviction in 2014. According to the accusation, the accused, Mr. Ecclestone, has received payments since his divorce from his wife. The annual payments are estimated to be over $100 million. It's unknown how long the payments from the divorce will last. Bernie also managed to keep 
keep his own jets, chalet, and other assets, including his 190-foot super yacht, Bill and Sue Gross. The Gross divorce put Bill Cross, the founder of asset management PIMCO, in a financial and mental state that was one of the messier divorces on our list. Sue Gross filed for divorce in 2016 and walked away with an estimated worth of RS 8,000 crores a year. Her settlement included a beach property in Laguna, valued at approximately RS 200 crores, that's $36 million in value, and Lipos, a 1932 Picasso painting that she later sold for a similar sum. When it came to custody, Bill wanted one of their three pet cats, but even that went to Sue. Following that, Bill, who had been on the Forbes 400 for 14 years, was removed from the list in 2018. Ken Griffins and Annie Diaz Another horrible divorce on this list involves mega millionaire Ken Griffins and his now ex-wife Annie Diaz. Ken Griffins' 2015 divorce from his 12-year wife Anne Diaz wasn't exactly picture-perfect either. The split concentrated on the couple's prenuptial agreement, which disclosed details of their lavish lifestyle. She claimed over $1 million per month in child care bills and turbulent relationships. Ken allegedly tossed a bedpost towards Anne during an argument, which he denied, and was entitled to a lump sum payment of $25 million, as well as $1 million for each year they were married and shared ownership of their Chicago penthouse. Anne sued for more money, claimed she was forced to sign the deal the night before their wedding. Just a few days before the trial, the couple struck a confidential deal. Thank God, because it could have gone really ugly in court. Harold Hamm and son Anne Arnall. A prenuptial agreement would have come in useful for oil magnate Harold Hamm, who spent years in court trying to untangle his marriage to sue Anne Arnall, his second wife. He eventually wrote her a check in the sum of just over $970 million from his Morgan Stanley account in 2015. She deposited it, but she persisted in her pursuit of a larger sum. Sue Anne had agreed to the settlement by signing and depositing the check, according to an appeals court. So, she put her money into a political action group that helped to defeat the judge who presided over the divorce. Jacqueline Mars and Hank Vogel The heir to the Mars Candy Bar brand and her ex-husband were involved in yet another incredibly expensive divorce. The divorce of Candy heir Jacqueline Mars and her second husband, Hank Vogel, in 1994 was extremely painful. Vogel sought a larger share of her income, claiming he had no knowledge his wife was actually worth a billion dollars. When he signed an unbreakable prenup, Mars claimed she informed him she was worth roughly $30 million. Forbes estimated Jacqueline and her siblings were worth more than $4.6 billion at the time. Mars has never married again after winning a lengthy legal battle. Steve and Elaine Wynn The final couple on this list is casino tycoons Steve and Elaine Wynn, who attempted to marry twice and were unsuccessful both times. The first divorce between the Wynns was amicable, the second not so much. Elaine received more than 11 million shares of Wynn Resorts, where she was a co-founder and board member as part of their 2010 settlement. She sued for the right to sell a portion of her stock two years later and was kicked off the board 2015 after a bitter proxy struggle. Following sexual harassment charges, Steve Wynn eventually stepped down as chairman and CEO in February 2018, which he has denied. Elaine became Wynn's resort's largest individual shareholder after he sold all of his stocks. And there you have it, everything you need to know about some of the richest women who became super wealthy after their divorces. It's no secret that money and wealth can put a huge wedge in a relationship, and we can only imagine with so much money and power how tough and tedious these divorce processes must be, not to mention how ugly they can get. Now, make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Which one surprised you the most? Which was the worst in your opinion? Let us know, but if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.